So here we are um, signed into Overleaf, and I'm recording these videos just as Overleaf have, has released version uh, 2. So if your uh, Overleaf dashboard looks a bit different, then it's probably because you're using uh, a different version than version uh, 2. Um, so we're going to create a new, um, a new document. So I click uh, New Project. And I'm going to click blank project, and I'm going to say a basic document. And what we see is this opens up, um, and Overleaf automatically fills in uh, some text here on the left. This is our editor, and I'm, I'm actually going to delete that for the purposes of this video. And my settings have this to not recompile automatically. I have to click to recompile, so I'm going to click that. And as you can see, there's all sorts of errors that come up. And that's because there's no code on the left here that the compiler can actually transform into a PDF. So let's, let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to write uh, document. And you can see that Overleaf is uh, helping in various different ways by pointing out different options based on what I'm typing. Um, and we're going to write article. So that's a particular type of class of documents. It's more or less the, the, the basic one that's used for a lot of different things. And then I'm going to begin my document. And we see again there, Overleaf added the end document to help me out. And then I'm going to type, hello world. Now, that's there. Now I'm ready to recompile. And we see it creates there this very basic document saying, hello world. So on the left, we have the source code, which is in a file called main.tech. This panel here has all your uh, documents, uh, all the files that are in this uh, project, in this directory. And um, on the right here, we have uh, the output. And if I wanted to, I could download that as a, as a PDF. And if we go back, we see this a basic document is, is now here. And we can view it again. And that's a very basic use of Overleaf and LaTeX.